What up, y'all? Hey, guys. Y'all know us? Yes. And you know it's time for Father Ted. Series 2, Episode 8, Father's Bad Habits. Smoking, drinking, and rollerblading priests. Yes, rollerblading. Rollerblading. Yes. I can't even speak. Yeah, yeah. Not to be confused with rollerblading. That's just as dangerous. That's right just there. as dangerous. Yeah. 100%. Let's just dive in. Let's do it, man. Three, two, one. <laughs> Yes, well, I thought people might have been confused about where the parochial house is, so I thought I'd put a big cross up in the middle of the garden. Just hope they know it means I'm a priest and not some madman. <laughs> some madman's put up a cross. <laughs> I'm off rollerblading. All right, Dougal. Oh, Dick. Oh. Well, Chad, I just thought I'd give you a call and wish you all the best for Lent this year. What? Oh, yeah, Lent. Uh, what are you giving up? Being the biggest idiot in the priesthood? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Ted, I've given up cigarettes. Father Johnson is giving up alcohol, and Father Macduff is giving up skateboarding. The atmosphere of serenity and devotion to our Lord in the parochial house this year is very, very special indeed. Right. So what about it, Ted? Will you make a similar effort? I, I suppose you're right, Dick. Uh, I suppose we should make a special effort. It'll be worth it, Ted. God bless you. Goodbye, Dick, and... Um, God, God bless you, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh, my God. If, if somebody told me to give up cigarettes, alcohol, and my favorite uh, active activity, which to me is go-karting, or, I mean, I don't even count playing music as that, like, because that's just life, but yeah. go-karting. If somebody asked me to give up those things, I'd punch him in the face. Like, okay, so I already see how this is going to go. Yeah. I already, I already see it. Father Ted is going to have to give up cigarettes. And right? alcohol. Uh, no, Dougal's gonna give up rollerblading, and, and then that leaves Father Jack, and he's not going to give that up. Give up drink. drink. <laughs> oh my God. Yep. Oh my so, God. That's it. I'm giving up the fags. Father Jack, I think we can give the old drink a miss. And no more rollerblading for you until Easter, Dougal. <laughs> Easter's miles away. It is, but it wouldn't be a sacrifice if it was too easy, would it? And don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know, because of the sacrifice our Lord it's made It's much more important than that. <laughs> I'm not going to be beaten by Father Dick Byrne in a giving things up competition. It's more important. <laughs> and that's oh, God. Oh. I love that. You know what? It's all about healthy competition in life, correct? Yeah, I guess so. It's like, it's more important than our Lord and Savior's sacrifice. More important than that. It's, it's about, we're not going to let that priest beat us. Yeah. And being more priestly. Exactly. You, you ain't going to take our crown from us. Oh, God, uh. man. <laughs> That's what this is, a giving things up competition. We've got to show them what we can do, especially after that Scrabble fiasco. You've never told us what happened there, Ted. I don't know how he did it. He, he must have cheated. He must have. But he got all his words to say, useless priests can't say mass. <laughs> so, right, we got that? No more fags rollerblading or booze until Easter. Understood? All right. Who wants their afternoon drink? Drink? Oh, yes! <laughs> no. No! No, Father Slend, remember you said you'd give it up for a couple of days. What? <laughs> Did not remember you said you'd offer it up for our Lord. Arnold? Who's Arnold? I suppose I made your vow for you, but I know that deep down inside you'd like to make a little sacrifice. Sacrifice? Arts! <laughs> drink! Drink! You won't find any there, Father. I've put them somewhere very safe. Where? <laughs> Don't. Here we go. No more fags for me now until Easter. Ah, great. No problem there at all. <laughs> God Almighty, I don't even miss them at all. This is easy. <laughs> God, this is terrible. I don't like this at all. Maybe we should stick with it though, Ted. We've come through worse together. 
And don't forget Dick Byrne. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't you think so, Ted? Hmm? Oh, I certainly do, Dougal. Absolutely. How are you doing, Father? You all right there? Do you want me to blah, 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 blah? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's uh, just circling the airport. <sighs> Better get that. You all right there, Dougal? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is that hard. It's really hard oh, man. to give up those three things. Oh, my goodness. Dude. <laughs> do you ever do, do Lent? Um, not necessarily. I guess growing up, we gave up some things, but I, I just, I don't remember it too well. I know no. that that's big in the Catholic religion. Yeah. I, I'm not a practicing Catholic, but I know my friends that were did Lent. Right, right. And that's why they pushed the fish sandwich. Yeah. At McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's... yeah. Having both two ex-relatives that were Catholic, yeah, I, I, I was exposed to that, and you know, not eating meat on meat. Fridays. I mean, I, I would, I would eat meat, but yeah. they wouldn't. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I get the concept behind it. I just never. I was never around. Yeah. But I mean, it's not a bad thing to give up stuff you like for a little bit. Yeah. You know, makes you appreciate it more, or makes you think, makes you realize you can live without it. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I know. mean, I'll just give up feeling bad about myself. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, and I stopped crying in the shower. <laughs> exactly. For a whole week. We're doing this right. Yay. Woo. <laughs> oh, Father, you're brilliant. Oh, Father, you should be Pope. Doesn't impress him. Makes me sick. God, you're a northern divot. Ah, uh, Father. Hello, John. Hello, Mary. A uh, Father. You look wonderful. Is, is that a new outfit? <laughs> yeah, we thought you'd like some Easter eggs from the shop. Oh, that's terribly nice of you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it comes to about eight pounds. <laughs> we're going on holidays and we're not sure when we'll be back. Yes, we're, uh, we're going to Rome. Oh, so <laughs> looking forward to it. We might see your friend. Who's that? Sophia Loren? <laughs> Father, the Pope. He's no friend of mine. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness! <laughs> ah. <laughs> He's going to see all three of them, I bet. Or all two of them. Yep. Oh, oh he hit his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God almighty. <sighs> <laughs> Called it. Oh, my God. God almighty, when I think of the sacrifices that Matty Hislop made. <laughs> Who? Matty Hislop, he was a notorious drunkard who found God and then decided to punish himself for his sins. Oh, he used to do all kinds of things. Like, he had this terrible allergic reaction to cats, so instead of avoiding them, he used to carry a kitten in his pocket <laughs> and sniff it from time to time. Uh. His head just inflated like a balloon. <laughs> Fair play to him. That reminds me of a, a, a tip for making, uh, giving gifts. I may have told you this before, mm -mm. but... Don't do the whole box in a box in a box thing with certain gifts. Because one time my cousin did a box in a box in a box thing for their son. And by the time the son got down to the last box, the kitten had suffocated. <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> yes. Oh my God, that's a great dead cat joke. <laughs> love that. Love that. Sorry oh to any God. cat lovers here. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. I just piss everyone off. Oh yeah. Uh, is, that, pa- is that a what? That- his name? John Wayne? John Wayne. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no worries. No worries. <laughs> I used to be happy enough with the old bike, you know? I used to get a great buzz just going down to the shops. But after a while, it just wasn't enough. I just, I just kept going for bigger and bigger thrills. But I could handle it, Ted. I could quit any time I want. Well, you tried to quit yesterday and you couldn't. You're right, Ted. I admit it. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, Dougal. No need for that. Not now that we're getting outside help anyway. God, why do nuns have such awful music when you're on hold? <laughs> if I hear Ave Maria one more time, I don't know. Excuse me! <laughs> How much longer am I going to be on hold? She'll be with you in a second, Father. Ave Maria! <laughs> That's the music. Hello, Sister Mary Gondola, how can I help you? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, look, I was wondering, could you send somebody out? We have a small problem here, uh, keeping our Lenten vows. What do you wish to give up, exactly? Cigarettes, alcohol and, um, rollerblading. On special offer this month, we have the Lenten package. £150, plus that, plus booking fee, that's £200. £200? Pounds? I'm not trying to buy cocaine. <laughs> We have a basic offer at £50. Ah, yes, that'll do fine, thanks. Now, how do you wish to pay? We accept all major credit cards. Can you hold, please, Father? <laughs> oh, I would, I would die. Oh, God. Oh, I would die. Uh, it, it's bad enough when you're on hold, but <laughs> that's just another... I commend that a lot for cutting costs in the church yeah you know just have someone sing your hold music yeah uh, is that like how how old is this show it's in, in the mid 90s why is there a switchboard we weren't that far gone <laughs> but I, it's craggy island yeah i know so. i love that though it's like they're in world war ii <laughs> like, what is that that's crazy oh my I'm goodness i'm pretty sure i heard elevator music during this time yeah yeah, exactly. Wow. Listen, I'll, I'll have to ring you back. What's up with him, Ted? <laughs> it looks like the last of the alcohol has left his system. I think he might actually be sober. Are you seeing things as they really are at last? Oh, my God! <laughs> That's it, all right. I suppose sobriety for Father Jack must be sort of like taking some mad hallucinogenic. Where are the other two? <laughs> The other two. <laughs> ah, I see. The old vision is back to normal. No, there's just the two of us, Father. And what do you two do, then? We're priests. Priests? Don't tell me I'm still on that feckin' island! <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? It must be great to be sober every once in a while. Cheer! <laughs> well done, Father. <laughs> Curtains! Yes, that's right! <laughs> Floor! <laughs> All coming back to you, is it, Father? Gobshite! Ah! Yes! <laughs> I remember! I'm off on my Lenten pilgrimage now, Fathers. Oh, off to St. Patrick's Hill. What's that, Ted? Oh, it's a big mountain. You have to take your socks off when you go up it. And once you get up at the top there, they chase you all the way back down with a big plank. <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> I don't want it to be any fun at all, Father. I want a good, miserable time. I met a couple there last year, and it did them the world of good. They were a bit obsessed with the old S-E-X. God, I'm glad I never think of that type of thing, Father. That whole sexual world. God, when you think of it, it's a dirty, filthy thing, isn't it, Father? (laughs) Can you imagine, Father, looking up at your husband and him standing over you with his lad in his hand, wanting you to degrade yourself? (laughs) God almighty, can you imagine that, Father? Oh, get a good mental picture. (laughs) Can you see him there, ready to do the business? Doorbell! Doorbell, Mr. Doyle, the doorbell! 
<laughs> oh, it's so disturbing. I, w- I want to know what she's going for. Uh, that's... I believe that's what you call a boner killer right there. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you <laughs> need to last a little longer, oh you think God. about that. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Well, we know what she thinks about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, knitting. <laughs> yeah, knitting. crocheting. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> to all of our crocheting fr- friends and family. Yes, yes. That's a, that's a throwback to the olden <laughs> times of ETS 21. Yeah. Hey, 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 you there! What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, that's a spoon, Father. Come on. Hello there. Ah, Sister Assumpta! Hello, Father. <laughs> Dougal, Dougal, do you remember Sister Assumpta? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> she was here last year. And then we stayed with her in the convent, back in Kildare. And then you were hit by the car when you went down to the shops for the paper. You must remember all that. And then you won £100 with your lottery card. Ah, you must remember it, Dougal. And weren't you accidentally arrested for shoplifting? I remember we had to go down to the police station to get you. And the police station went on fire? What? And you had to be rescued by helicopter? Do you remember? What? You can't remember any of that? Huh? The helicopter? When you fell out of the helicopter over the zoo. Do you remember the tigers? <laughs> what? Do you remember? Uh, you were wearing your blue jumper. Ah, sister is over. <laughs> what an absolute airhead. Just <sighs> none of that, but oh, the blue jumper. Oh, oh the I blue got, jumper. Oh, that's it, what yep, yep. made him remember. Oh, my God. Like, like we said, in Black Adder. Um, Baldrick was a meathead, yep. and in this one, He's... Dougal is an airhead. It, 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 <sighs> and an intelligent person will be able to decipher the difference between a meathead and an airhead. Yeah, yeah great. Well, anyhow, all we want is the basic 50 quid job, the bare essentials. Keep us off the booze and fags and uh, the rollerblading. I'm afraid the rollerblading is my own particular vice. <laughs> well, we'll do our best. I'm looking forward to it. You know... I sort of am myself. <laughs> Do us good to exercise the old willpower. What about you, Father Jack? Are you looking forward to it? Uh, you remember Father Jack, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nan! <laughs> no, it's none. None! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Father. Uh, he's just gone for his walk. Yeah, for his walk. I love that, though. This is the first time we actually heard him, like, speak. Yeah, yeah, full sentences. <laughs> As a, aside from, what is it? Yes! And that would be an anautical thing. Yeah, or, that one. Ecumenical problem or matter, I, right? An anautical... I, I, I can't remember what the exact quote is. No, me neither. <laughs> I'm sure someone will correct us. Oh my god, no! Oh! Is, is there a fire? Is there a fire in the house? I suppose it's just time to get up. It's. it's 5 a.m. Look, Dougal. 5 a.m. God, I've never seen a clock at 5 a.m. before. <laughs> She's obviously made a mistake. Let's just go back to bed. Fair enough, Ted. What are you doing? I'm just writing her a note to tell her that we don't usually get up till later. Wait for it. (laughs) Is is this about accurate? Uh, It was pretty much. Yeah, instead of the alarm, it's uh, your son. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Love him to death, man, but he is just a... He just... He's like a dinosaur, man, when he walks around the house, dude. Mm. Whether he tries to wake me up or not, he wakes me up. It's just... Everyone's up. Everyone's up. I'm just like, dude, his feet seem like they weigh... 20 tons each. Oh my so, goodness. I feel oh, bad. But this for is accurate. You. What he looks like is what I look like every morning. All right. Yep. Good to know. Uh, sister, someday, you know, we really are only down for the basic booze, fags, and rollerblading deal. I mean, the getting up early thing, it, it's great, but uh, this is water. That's right, Father. All right, all right. Having a bit of a laugh with the big tickles from the island. Where's our real breakfast? Ted, I'd love a Pop Tart. <laughs> I really don't think pop tarts have any place in our Lord's plan for the world. I think they have oh, as much shit. a place as anything else. Maybe our Lord doesn't take a personal interest in them, but I'm sure he delegates it to someone almost as important. And what about Frosties? <laughs> Again, the same thing. He mightn't have come up with the idea, but he'd be the one who'd give them the green light. All oh, right. But if you take something like, say, Sugar Puffs now, or Lucky Charms, now they'd be my favorite. Fathers, could you please... <clears throat> could you please stop having that conversation? Just finish your breakfast and come outside for your daily punishment. So as we'll just finish the... Daily what? 
I'm sorry, Daly, what did you say there? <laughs> your daily punishment. Matty Hislop's ten-step programme to ridding herself of your pride. The single greatest obstacle to inner fulfilment. Oh, that uh, sounds, sounds great. <laughs> More ice? No, no, actually, I might enjoy that too much. Very refreshing, the old ice. <laughs> Soon we'll be able to begin the ten steps. What? There's still ten to go. Father, of course. And this is just to cleanse you. A form of preparation. For what? <laughs> Are we going into space? <laughs> I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Hopefully it'll just evolve a bit of an old prey. <laughs> my mattress with. Oh, that's it. That's it. She's obviously insane, Dugan. We've got to get out of here. Where do we go? What about Mwengwe? His parents are away for the weekend and he's got the whole house free and he's got satellite. <laughs> Dougal, he lives in Addis Ababa. <laughs> what about Dick Byrne then? No, no, I'm not ringing Dick Byrne. I know. I'll call Father Larry Duff. He'll put us up for a while. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 oh! Wait a second, no. He told me not to call tonight. He's got this big important thing on. I suppose it'll have to be Father Dick Burns so over on Rugged Island. Come on. I'll leave her a note saying we've gone to a funeral or something. Why don't we say we had to go to an autopsy instead? That'll be more exciting. No, Dougal. A funeral is more believable. All right. We've got to do this as quietly as possible, okay? All right. Don't suddenly panic or make a noise. If we take it easy, we won't wake her. What was that? RUN! <laughs> 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 Come on, fathers, we'll get an early start or we'll miss the rain. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Uh-oh. Right. I'll just knock very gently on the door. All right, yeah, so as you won't wake them up. Uh, no, I'll have to wake them up so they can let in. <laughs> well, then shouldn't you just knock loudly? Right. Good point. <laughs> oh, but Ted, Ted, maybe they're not home. No, I definitely heard something. <laughs> you just can't trust Dick Byrne. As priests go, he's a really bad priest. Yeah. And we've still got 38 days of Lent to go. I know. Ha. Um. No. <laughs> and, and I can't go back to the other nuns until after Easter. Oh, God, please don't tell them that I gave in to temptation. She's been eating chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> if, if there's anything I can do to make it up. <laughs> Here's a mad idea. Hello, sister. How can I help you? <laughs> yes! Yes! I <laughs> love that. I'm back, fathers. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, man. That last part, man, I... Oh. I think that sounds like a good time. That's a good time right there. Rollerblading. Five cigarettes in your mouth and <laughs> five uh, tubes of alcohol just right there. Oh, God. What more do you need? What a Monday. What a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 
automatic two thumbs oh, up yeah, on that dude. one. I, I love the fact that Father Jack was sober for a brief second. Yeah, yeah, we actually got to see him talk <laughs> full yeah. sentences. Yeah. I love that. That was awesome. <laughs> Gumshite! <laughs> Gumshite! <laughs> oh! <laughs> curtains! <laughs> I love that. That was oh. perfect. That was perfect. Man. Can't wait for the next one. Me neither, man. Like, Wash your hands, grab your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. See you next time. Later.